Hi there. Today we're going to talk about optimizing your Google My Business profile. We will talk about how you can maximize the benefits of having a profile and how to optimize it step by step. Today, businesses must leverage online tools to maximize their visibility and engagement. And Google Maps and Google My Business are two central tools in the search engine landscape. Google Maps is a widely used navigation tool and it plays a crucial role in connecting customers with local businesses. When businesses are listed accurately on Google Maps, it not only aids in easy location by potential customers, but also enhances local prominence in search results. Google My Business, on the other hand, serves as a centralized platform for businesses to manage their online presence across Google, and that includes Maps and Search. A well-optimized Google My Business listing provides crucial business information directly in search results, and this information includes operating hours, location, and services, which makes it easier for customers to make informed decisions. Both these tools are super important for boosting local SEO, which is the optimization of your online presence to attract more sales from relevant local searches. A robust Google My Business profile integrated with Google Maps ensures higher visibility in local search queries, contributing significantly to local search rankings. And when we say local search rankings, we mean queries that include specific locations, or even keywords with the word near me. The synergy between Google Maps and Google My Business is a powerful asset for businesses who are seeking to grow their customer base and enhance their online presence. When a business is accurately represented on Google Maps, it enhances visibility and increases the likelihood of attracting foot traffic. For many customers, Google Maps is the first point of contact with a business making it an essential component of a local marketing strategy. This is particularly useful for local businesses like maybe hospitality and tourism businesses, retailers, local service providers, and many other businesses. That's why having an effectively optimized Google My Business profile is the equivalent of being listed in directories in the old days, except that it's a much more interactive snapshot of your business and has a lot more potential. That's because it offers a first impression based on insights that matter to customers, like how good your service is, how close you are to them, pictures of your products, and so much more info. Now let's go through the process of creating a Google My Business profile step by step. And step number one is creating your Google My Business account itself. Start by signing in to your Google account or create one if you don't already have it. This account will be linked to your business listing. Then you need to go to Google My Business website and click on Manage Now. You will then need to enter your business name or if it appears in the drop down menu, you can select it. Otherwise, create a new business name. Step number two, entering your business information. Now you need to choose a category that best fits your business. This is crucial for Google to understand what kind of services or products you offer and match with relevant searches. Then you need to provide the address of your physical business location. If you're a service area business without a physical location, you can list the area that you serve. So even if you don't have a specific address, do not miss on this opportunity altogether. Instead, Add the area that you serve and its postcode just to allow Google to connect you with local customers. After this, you should add your business phone number and website. This information will be visible in your Google Maps and search listings too. And businesses must ensure that their name, address, and phone number are not only accurate, but also consistent across all online platforms. Step number three, verification. Now, once the basics are in place, Google needs to verify your business to prevent fake listings. And the most common verification methods are through a postcard sent to your business address or a phone call. Once you receive the postcard, which you usually receive within five days or the phone call, of course, you need to enter the code in your Google My Business account to verify your business. Step number four, optimizing your listing. Now, after verification, the optimization process begins. 
and it's crucial to start with a detailed business description incorporating relevant keywords naturally. Categories must also be selected carefully. Choosing the most accurate category helps Google understand the business and match it with relevant searches. Another important element is adding high-quality images, including interior and exterior shots, maybe even products or team photos. These photos make the listing more appealing and informative. Hours of operation, on the other hand, must also be regularly updated, especially during holidays or special events. Providing accurate hours reduces customer frustration and builds trust, and it also shows that your business is active, which is a good sign to users and Google. Furthermore, the addition of attributes like wheelchair accessibility, free Wi-Fi, or outdoor seating offers further insight into what the business offers. Step number five, utilizing reviews and customer interactions. Now, reviews are a cornerstone of Google My Business's value. Positive reviews not only improve a business's reputation, but also contribute to SEO. Positive reviews enhance a business's credibility and appeal. They contribute to a higher ranking in search results. They provide authentic testimonials about customer experiences, and that way, they offer valuable insights to both the business and prospective clients. Another aspect of reviews is responding to them. Timely and thoughtful responses to reviews, be they positive or negative, are crucial. Responding to positive reviews with gratitude can encourage customer loyalty. And in the case of negative reviews, a professional and considerate response can mitigate the impact and demonstrate a commitment to customer service and improvement. This active engagement reflects positively on the business and can sway the decision-making process of potential customers. Perhaps the trickiest part of utilizing reviews is to invest time in actively encouraging satisfied customers to leave reviews, but this is the only way to increase the number of positive reviews, and it can be done through follow-up emails, reminders at the point of sale, or through incentives. Google's algorithm favors businesses with higher engagement, but more importantly, Google automatically picks up keywords that are often used in the reviews that people leave you, and that's how Google can recommend your business to users who are searching for these specific keywords. So in other words, reviews also give Google the cues to what to associate your business with. Step number six, engaging with customers. Engaging actively on Google My Business, whether through posts or updates, is an excellent way for businesses to keep their profiles fresh and appealing. This practice plays a significant role in enhancing the business's online presence and its SEO effectiveness. You can use Google My Business posts in various ways, such as showcasing new products, announcing sales or special offers, maybe even sharing updates about events, or providing insightful industry-related information. This varied content keeps the profile interesting and relevant, encouraging more engagement from your viewers. It's good to note that regular posting is key here. Maintaining a consistent schedule for updates ensures that the business profile remains active and up-to-date. And timing these posts to coincide with peak user activity times can also increase visibility and engagement. And you could post only once or twice a month. That's completely fine on this platform, but you just need to keep it updated and relevant. Now again, Google's algorithm favors fresh and relevant content, and active Google My Business profiles are more likely to rank higher in search results. This increased visibility can lead to more traffic and ultimately more business. Including appealing visuals like photos and videos in posts can also significantly increase engagement. Visual content tends to attract more attention and can convey information more effectively than text alone. Incorporating clear calls to action in posts also encourages direct engagement from customers. You need to consider to choose calls to action which are relevant to this platform. So you can invite people to visit the store, check out a new product online, or take advantage of a special offer. Effective CTAs can drive measurable responses. Event promotion and special promotions posts 
work great on Google My Business. Whether the event is an in-store sale, a webinar, or a community event, these posts can help increase attendance and awareness. And of course, posting about exclusive deals or special offers is a great way to drive sales. These posts can act as an incentive for customers to make immediate decisions, especially when coupled with a limited time offer. Step number seven, monitoring insights. Google My Business has a lot of valuable insights to monitor. First of all, with Google My Business, you can find out how customers find your listing. Google My Business differentiates between direct searches, where customers directly search for the name or address of your business, and discovery searches, where customers search for a category, a product, or a service that you offer, and then your listing appears. This distinction helps you understand whether your branding is strong enough or if you are effectively capturing the market in your category. And on top of that, Google My Business shows the specific queries that customers are using to find your business listing on Google. And this insight is crucial for understanding which keywords are effective and they can guide SEO and content marketing strategies. You can also see what actions customers take after finding your listing. Actions include visiting your website, requesting directions to your business, or calling you directly. And this data helps you understand what customers are primarily interested in and how they prefer to engage with your business. Google My Business also provides a geographical breakdown of where customers are when they ask for directions to your business. This feature helps you understand your local market and can inform local advertising and marketing strategies. And on top of that, Google My Business also tracks when and how often customers call your business directly from the listing. And analyzing these call patterns can help optimize business operations and staffing as well. And of course, if you're using Google My Business to publish posts, you can track engagement metrics like views and clicks. And this helps in understanding what type of content resonates best with your audience. Google My Business can also show when your business tends to be the busiest. And this data is aggregated from visitor check-ins and can be useful for staffing and operational planning too. If you're using the booking or services feature on Google My Business, insights on how customers interact with these features can also be accessed. So to wrap things up, Optimizing your profile, as well as making use of all these insights, is a great opportunity to improve your ranking for local SEO. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that you now have a better understanding of how to optimize your Google My Business profile. But if you need any help with your local SEO, Profile Tree has helped hundreds of businesses with that. So if you need help, please drop us a comment and we'll get back to you.